Okay. Okay. It's time for another viewer react. Oh, weird. We're yeah. back. We haven't done one of these in a bit. No. No, yeah. we haven't. <laughs> Let's see who likes more of what. I feel like the other ones are more popular because of the people involved. Oh, yeah. But yeah, for sure. The first like one was really, really popular. Oh, yeah. yeah well, the second one kind of tapered off. But yeah. Well, either. today we're looking at uh, it's a l some good ones in this one, to yeah. be honest with you. All right. First up. Ah, Skull Panther. Skull Panther. I like it. Yeah, right? He's substantially more badass than regular Panther. Yeah, yeah. Or regular least, like, Skull. 35% 30, <laughs> more badass. The, the problem with this for me is the skull takes away from the ferocity of the face. Yeah, that's right? fair. Like, well, yeah, there's a second face. Yeah, well, I want to admire this the ferocity of the cat, right? Yep. The skull is kind of taking his shine off him a little bit. A little bit. But... Uh, this is uh, impressive because you can tell it's a panther. You don't you don't go to just any random cat, yeah. right? With a panther tattoo, you have to have a good amount of light source still, or else it just ends up becoming a blob or a cougar, <laughs> or a cougar. Yeah, a blobby cougar even. Yeah, panthers are tricky, dude. Yeah, like especially in trad, and it, like they had to leave a, like a lot of negative space because you know th the skull's got to sing through. Mm -hmm. But they did a good job. It still looks like a panther, which I, yeah. I appreciate. Yeah, you can still see like the musculature of this thing too, right? Yes. Like, kind of get a feel for the the power of this cat, <laughs> the skull cat. <laughs> but uh, overall, I don't I don't think I'd ever get a panther tattoo. No, no, I don't think so. It's, I've never had one, and I don't think I ever would. I think you should just. I think add I'm a missing something with it. Like I don't know the love for panthers. Okay, fair enough. You so what cat? Me? What cat no. would you love? Well, no, it's not even that. It's like, okay, so if I had to get one, I guess a lion. Okay, fair Just enough. Because I think they've got nice hair, right? Like Reasonable. Nice fur, right? Sure. Nice fur coat. Okay. Anyway. Panthers, um, yeah, one of them short hairs. I'm not exactly sure, like, because panthers are a thing in the tattoo world. Yes. Like this whole sucky panther thing. Well, yeah, there's Where does that this side. come from? I mean, the sucky <laughs> panther came from one really sucky tattoo, I believe. But how come not, like... Like sucky rats or like sucky. Oh, I'm sure there is. You know what I mean? Like it could be any other. It struck creature. a chord. Yeah. You know something about a panther. Yeah. I like panthers because they're sucky mysterious. Sucky hummingbird, hummingbirds or something. You know. Oh like. man, I could see that. That's terrifying. <laughs> we should probably do a whole series of sucky animals. Yeah, that could be good. Yeah. But anyways, this is not a sucky panther. This <laughs> no, is just this a good old panther. Good. Way to go, skull panther. All right. Next up, we got some blackout with some halos yeah. of other things yeah what i love here is the black is fairly solid and nothing else really is <laughs> <laughs> like i look at this thing down on the the arm here and i'm just like it looks like a giant enraged nipple or something yes or like a tic tac a melting tic tac not yeah. a tic tac what uh what are those mint what are those chocolate mints junior mints oh i was thinking an altoids <laughs> container <laughs> You know, just one of those like circular containers. Whatever I'm thinking it is, I'm sure that's not it. Yeah, exactly. I would love to know what this is if you're the owner of this uh, prestigious arm. Yes. Please let me know. The black is quite black. Yeah, what is this thing on the arm here? Yes. Um, I'm also wondering if this was like done this way, like from the ground up, or if <laughs> there was more to this weird animation style before. Yeah. Because it's pretty matte. Like, it's I'm going to be honest. I'm confused. It's pretty, like, the black is, doesn't look like it's covering anything. Look, like, normally with a black, especially when it's fairly new, you can kind of see that uh, little bit of the old work underneath. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, you don't really see that here. This is pretty matte. So Yeah, no, that's pretty uh, That's pretty black. It kind of looks fresh. like this was done this way on purpose. Yeah, I agree. And then I wonder if it goes farther, right? Like, I wonder if this becomes like, a whole body theme. <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> Just but you have to keep the same, like, black. sporadic, like, like, oh, there's a cluster of two. And, oh, and then weird melting nipple things. Yeah. And uh, drawings of old, like, Japanese characters or yeah, whatever. Yeah, this, this is a design. I'm thinking this is, a, this is a, something that someone will know what this is. Like, this looks like it was, like, a comic or some kind of a show or something. But... Definitely Again, some sort of anime. I could be missing some backstory. I feel like I am as well. And I wonder if that would fill in this strange abomination at the bottom here. Probably. <laughs> and I want to know if there's more on the rest of the arm or if this was just kind of like we, yeah. we did a few and then we'll just black out the You'll rest. You'll see a video wrap of this bad boy. Yeah, that's one of the interesting <laughs> things because Blackout kind of started with necessity, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's like, okay, I've got to cover this yeah, up. I don't what know what else, else to do. do. Let's just throw some black over it. This is not out of necessity from no. the looks of it. No, this was an aesthetic choice. That's Blackout choice. has become more and more of an aesthetic as time has gone on. And yeah. 
less of a necessity. And mine was a bit of a mixed bag, honestly. Yeah. Like, I was, there was a bit that I needed to black out, but then the rest of it was just sheer joy, right? <laughs> like, the rest of it could have been fine. Yeah. I just then liked the black more and kept going. Yeah, that's reasonable. So, I mean, mine was a little of both, but I wonder what it was in this case. Yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> if this is your arm, share us some backstory. Yes, please. That'd be really lovely. Love to know what's going on here. <laughs> All right, next up, Spooky Tree. Spooky Tree. I feel like um, we've gotten a few spooky trees. Yeah, spooky trees popular. I don't like whatever the hell this gray fog is, though. Yeah. yeah it's losing me. Like, that tree is barely standing out. <laughs> it's kind of getting buried behind the weight of that. Um, it's There's parts of this tattoo that I think are quite nice. <laughs> and other parts of it I don't love. Like, I like the I like the little scene under the fence here. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I like how they've done that. But then that gray, cloudy stuff is just awful in my it's opinion kind of, well this is the problem between a stormy sky in front of or in behind a silhouette yeah it's like you're you're going dark on dark on yeah. dark well and it's hard to tell what's in the foreground here oh yeah like unless i because i know what's in the foreground right like yeah. i know but if i didn't know it's like these things all look like the background yeah a little bit right like there's nothing telling me really other than that i know um, that tree is in front of that mask. Yeah. Right? Like, they're almost in the same distance. Yeah, oh, yeah. In the way that this thing appears. Well, and if you make that face in the clouds, like, a little bit more defined, then they are. Oh, yeah, for you sure. I mean? If you didn't yeah. have that kind of little distortion there. And the little distortion is not enough of a distortion. Because it, no. it brings it so close to the tree. You don't want to make that thing any murkier. No. Or else it's like, what is that thing in the background? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. mean, like, what you could do is you could probably get some of that gloom, push yeah. that silhouette darker. Um, Isn't that amazing that now, like, there's other blacks and you can just go, oh, well, we can we can deepen some parts of You just of this. make the black blacker. Right. Like before, where if you were just doing this whole thing in dynamic and there's no panthera, there's no other blacks out there, you don't really have that same option. Yeah. Maybe you have to go on with white in places. Yeah, basically. Right. Just try and push things away from each other, I yeah. guess. I mean, you could Pry do that where you, like, kind of border the, the tree in white. Yeah. People do that. They've done that a lot, like... For a long time, but I don't think you have to do that in this case. No, I don't think so. Because then it just makes it so the tree's glowing, which is a little bit weird. Do you think that's being done very many places right now, like the whole different blacks, or do you think nope. that's just like something that some people are learning? I think like it will, but I think still right now the conversation is like, oh, that's not going to last. Yeah, you know what I mean. But like, oh yeah, I know. Are, <laughs> people are failing to recognize currently that there are two different colors of black that are commonly used now and i think that though like they will be they'll remain s more separate than what people will lean towards i guess something that's starting to become very annoying to me are the people who and these people have always been annoying but they're getting worse um what's that gonna look, look like in a few years yeah, uh, yeah. how completely different because yeah. i'm nowhere near done yeah exactly like it's not gonna look anything like it looks now but not because it's gonna fall apart because it's not over yeah like We're why just on would the it journey? Look, why would it look the same? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, next up, some ample color. Mm. So this one is super packed. Yeah, I really, I really like the blue. Light. Yeah, like the blue and the light blue in it too. Yeah, it's really really cool tricks here. Pink's amazing. Yeah, yeah. See, the pink is amazing. My eye is just drawn to that blue. Oh yeah. Um, and that's not necessarily a skill thing. It's just the the uh, the aesthetic of it. I think. Um, the green really pops out that blue too, and the black in there. Oh, Holy yeah. moly! How now, this sessions? is a bulletproof tattoo. I'd say three. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, think I think that's three. safe. I I don't know which parts get done when. I think you get this thing lined out first, and then you go in and maybe you put, maybe you put something like half the color in one day and then half the color in the next day. Yeah, I'd probably do like lining in black. Yeah, there, there's. What's your approach to this? Lining in black for sure. And then I would do dark tones and mm -hmm. then light tones. Um, there's so much to do in that. I mean, you could technically lump that into two big sessions if you wanted to, but, like, it really just depends as to how good the person's skin is. Yeah. Because that's a, a ton of trauma. Yeah, and it does, this looks like almost like there's no trauma, so this must yeah. be healed. I would assume so. Yeah, this and has to be an this after. This is the joy of one of those filters. It yeah. Makes your colors really pop. Yeah, it's really cool, though. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, not for me, but very cool. Oh, I would rock this for sure. <laughs> All right, last but not least. Uh, very cool crocodile alligator thing. <laughs> I can never tell which which one it is. Like, well, I have a hard time picking out 
crocodiles from alligators. Me too. Do you have this problem? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not as familiar with them as we are in the Rockies. Fair enough, right? Like, <laughs> whatever it is, he looks pretty tired. Looks like he's going for a nap. <laughs> Surly alligator guy. My question <laughs> in these, like, I love these types of flash tattoos. They're just fun. Mm-hmm. But, like, from what, like, what, what spawned this? Right. Where where's this idea come from? Because it looks like he's hung over. Yeah, oh yeah. It looks like a hung over alligator. Yeah, oh yeah. Right? Like I just need to sleep for a while. Then I'll be good. <laughs> well what you know, I wouldn't love this tattoo better if it was done well. That's the no, thing. Me right? Either. Like if all of a sudden this guy you showed me the same arm and it was like perfect version of this. It doesn't say any more than it does now. Well, unless it was like crazy, amazing hyperrealism kind of thing where they put like 10 hours into it. I think that'd be pretty hilarious, too. Yeah, it would be. But like the alligator is, you know what it is. Kind of, Well, you don't know the difference between an alligator or crocodile, but True. you know what this thing is no matter how well it's done. Oh, yeah. And I think even if it is better done, all you're going to see is just exactly how hungover it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? Like, all, like. I don't know where the inspiration comes from for this one, but if you're the owner of this tattoo, I'd love to know the backstory yeah. of this thing. We need thing. a lot of backstories. <laughs> I feel like we need a written summation that we could post as well. Yeah, yeah. Helps what a lot. exactly is this and why is it so important to you? Yeah. Right? Because uh, I'm sure like this has got to be one of his favorite tattoos. Oh, he sent I would it agree. to us for this reason. It's one of right? mine. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, so if you want us to keep on talking shit about your tattoos, send them to the link below and yeah, we'll keep chatting. For sure.